Stock footage or B-roll? What's the difference? Hey, it's Robert Jarzen here, Creative Services for Intercom, with another quick video tip. If you're a business owner or just someone who's doing more and more of your own videos, but you may not have the budget or the time, this tip's gonna be perfect for you. So I've already done one on B-roll, and that's when you're shooting extra footage for a project that you're already working on. Stock footage is when you're using a source, an outside source, for some clips that you can't normally get. For instance, a shot of somebody walking the streets of New York if you can't get to New York to get it yourself. Now the problem with using stock footage is if you use certain sites like I do, Biteable, Motion Array, Digital Juice, some of those have restrictions and you gotta be super careful of how and where you use it. What that means is what's your finished product gonna be for? Is it for web? Is it for social media? Is it for TV, broadcast, movie? Sometimes you're gonna find that it might just be easier to make your own stock footage like I'm doing right here. I wanted a simple shot of a light bulb, but I wanted it to kind of curve into frame for something I was doing later. I also needed an image of cabbage with money. That's right, cabbage with money. Specifically, a cabbage stuffed with money. Now, I did find a site that had something similar, but the parameters and the restrictions did not enable me to use it for my project. So, I had to film my own. Sometimes this takes a little bit of extra work, a little bit of extra pre-planning, and sure, it takes a little bit more time, but the finished product is yours and you'll own it. And when you own your own product and you own your own stock footage, the finished outcome is yours and you can do with it as you please. So there's a difference between stock footage and B-roll, but be careful where you get your stock footage from. Trust me, wrong place, wrong usage, and yeah, it's not gonna be a pretty picture.